Atiku will go lose 2023 election. He not sabi carry people when he come from a region along. Oshomoli, na him talk this one. Former governor of Edo State and not progress his Congress senatorial candidates for Edo North Senatorial District, Comrade Adams Oshomoli, don't yan say PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubaka, na person when not tolerate people from other religion. Oshomoli talk this one for APC rally when she left for Auchi. Comrade Oshomoli we talk say, na Atiku, na him sell Nitel, Constitutor say Obasanjo and Atiku spend $16 billion to fix light, but till today, Nigeria never still get light. Oshomole Constitutor say Atiku, no they stay in one place. He they waka waka from one party to another. Nobody employs somebody for an important job without seeing his track record of performance. And we start with Atiku Abubaka. I'm not going to abuse anybody. But I'm going to speak to facts. And I will take the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible and swear that everything I shall say shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Because we need to educate Nigerians to vote wisely. That is why I said, if I want to do a I will do it. But today, I want to deliver a message. Abu Bakr Atiku was vice president for eight years. I was president of Nigeria Labour Congress for the same period. Atiku was the one who auctioned Niger. Do you remember Niger? He sold it. It's Niger which is today. What happened to the money? Atiku was the vice president. And I asked you to watch the video clips. He said, between him and the pastor, so, I'm never afraid to mention their name because only a coward will die more than once. He confessed, although he's not a Catholic, that he and the pastor just spent $16 billion, American dollars, to fix power. And Atiku admits that they paid fully to the contractors. Do you have power? No. They sold that money. Money does not disappear. $16 billion. Now, I hear those who talk about religious tolerance. Atiku does not tolerate anybody who doesn't believe in his own religion. So he married a woman from Igbo called Jennifer. When he got to his home, he forced the woman to change her name to Jamila. When he went to the east, he told the Igbos, Jennifer is your daughter, both for me. When he lost the election, what did he do? He divorced. Jamila or Jennifer. And today we are in court. A man who do this women, marry them at the eve of election, divorce after election. Is that the kind of man women will vote for? No. Come on now. Are we stupid? No. In life, you must identify with set of values. As if you was vice president, you become to ACN, he contested, he became a progressive, he lost, he did come back to PDP, to an umbrella that is already battered, he contested, he lost, then he came back to APC, he contested against Buhari, he lost, then he moved back to PDP, people Deceiving people. Papa deceiving Piki. Piki deceiving Papa. He was there and they agreed that their candidate should come from the South. I think you agree. He went to Kaduna because this is Nigeria. Are you tenants in Nigeria? No. Are you inferior to anybody in Nigeria? No. Are we not one and the same? Yes. I believe in the unity and 
Nigerian nation. I was born here. I grew up in the north. I'm a so because what I am. I am a believer. What did Atiku say in Kaduna? Atiku opened his mouth. The vice president of all of Nigeria, I think you said, don't vote for any Yoruba man for president. So if you are a Yoruba man, you are inferior as far as Atiku is concerned. Atiku said, don't vote for Igbo man. You said so. Okay, man, say double for Igbo man. Who does he want? Double for Yoruba, double for Igbo. You can't double for him. Is that the person who will be unique tonight, Nigeria? The challenge Nigeria has today. We want a president that will unite Nigerians. We want a president that will ensure. That among Muslims and Christians are live together in peace and harmony. That is the Nigeria we want. Atiku is an ethnic bigot. He doesn't deserve anything. I ask you go to Adamawa State. Where Atiku comes from? You will find that Adamawa State is about the twentieth most undeveloped state in Nigeria. How can you be vice president? You have a university. But your people have no food. There are no jobs. The only job is physical jobs. A man who could not use his position to develop a state. Is that the man you think we develop Nigeria? They asked about a job. What is your regret life? At this point, there are many mistakes they have made in this life. But the worst mistake they have made is appointing Atiku as his vice president. And that he discovered Atiku is only about himself, 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 and himself, and himself, and his business. And because this particular was a director of customs. Find out why he left customs. He said he was doing business while he was a civil servant. As civil servants allowed to do business. So whether in morality, in law, in belief, in character, Atiku is not a fit and proper person at this time to protect the affairs of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. On top Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, Adam Zoshomole talks say Peter Obi when he be governor of Anambra State, not do anything at all for Anambra people. Oshomole talks say Obi get one of the biggest shopping malls for Abuja and all the things for the shopping mall they imported and this will join the things when they make Naira fall and consider the cost unemployment. Peter Obi was governor of Anambra when I was governor of Edo State. And let me speak to my own. As governor of Edo State, I built primary schools. Did I not? As governor of this state, I built a university. When every university was destroyed, that Edo University was working because I foresaw the future. We cannot subject our students to one day close, one day strike. You teach for two days, you start for ten days. No. Now, where is the future? Because you can't do at the national level what you did not do at state level. When this adult university was working, the one in Anambra was closed. Now, Obi was governor for eight years, and he's my good friend, as a person. But what we need as president is not a friend. 
It's about who can get the job done. Those who are my drivers, they are not my friends. But they are competent, they are loyal, and they are able to get the job done. Whoever is employed, people employ on the basis of competence. I don't know if you watched Channel Television last night. They were speaking to Soludo, who had just delivered his budget. And Jehu asked Soludo, why are you devoting so much on infrastructure? Soludo said, there are no infrastructure in Anabra State. And then they asked him, but Obi said he saved billions of naira. I remember Soludo was the former governor of the CPN. He was CPN governor. Soludo said, when a governor tells you he has been saving money, when people are dying, he reduces it to a language that you and me can understand. He, he says, you have your wife or your child, your uncle or a family member in the hospital. And then you earn your salary, you put the money in the bank. Your uncle is dying, your wife is dying, or your husband is dying. Does it make sense to keep money in the bank where people are dying? Uh, the gully erosion in Anabra, according to Soludo, not me, he said Anabra is the headquarters of gully erosion in Nigeria. So I asked, if a man could not fix gully erosion in Anabra state, can he deal with erosion crisis in Nigeria? Me, Toki. When the Ontario of Hauji went to protest on the federal highway, I see government to come and do that was before I became governor. I told Ontario, no worry. If I be governor, thank God, you don't need to be told to do erosion. Did we not fix the erosion in Hauji? Did we not fix the erosion in Quinnedia and Benin? Did we not fix the erosion in... Uh, Ekawa Road, even in Asia land. Now listen to this. Obi said, he said, they accused him that he put money in another country where they don't pay tax, about 500 million dollars. They asked him on a rise television. Remember what I said? I shall speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Obi said, yes, he has money there, but it is not up to 500 million. The journalist asked him, how much is it? He said, it's not up to half of that. So, okay, so you have $50 million. He said, no, not up to that. Not up to half of that, it's okay. You have more than $25 million. He said, no, 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 it's okay. Million dollars. Obi says about twenty million dollars. Never ask him when you keep the money outside Nigeria. If Obi keeps his money outside Nigeria, carrying the dollars and keep in another country, and the dollar is, is crashing in Naira, is Obi not contributing to our economic crisis? Come on now. You don't need to be an economist. This is common sense. If you believe in Nigeria, keep your money in Nigeria. Go to Anabra and ask the people, where are the schools that you be? Where are the roads? Yes, I just only told us, he didn't do roads, he didn't do school. There was no security, no hospital. Now, Toluto said that yesterday. When they told him he was saving money, he said, come on. People are hungry, I say you are saving. Do you say when you are starting to death? So I want the young people to be careful. Obi was the running mate of Atiku, Abu Bakr, in 2019. Is that not a fact? Which party? PDP. He ran election as vice presidential candidate in what? 
P, P, P. Why did you let me do? Because who I said never. There is nothing never about him. Lastly, Obi says he's a trader. He has next the most, one of the biggest supermarkets or shopping mall in Abuja. In that shopping mall, all the items there are imported. So if Obi is selling imported wine, imported cloth, imported basket, everything is imported. Is that not the reason? Because we are importing and we are producing. When you are importing, you are exporting job abroad and importing unemployment home. So I need you to understand the issue. The crisis of Nigeria today is that your people have no jobs. For them to have jobs, we must be the industries here. We must produce what we eat. We must produce what we wear. Right. So don't be fooled. Oshomole Consti talks to APC presidential candidate Asiwaju Bola Metinubu, nine be the most qualified candidate to be president for Nanja and him get a bonge track record. I submit in the name of God, that person is the one and only Asiwaju of the universe, the Jagaba of Borobu, Bola. It is street that bear fruit that people stone. Do you see people throw stone at uh, a palm tree that is not? But they are throwing stone at him. They cannot dispute his performance. Number one, they say he didn't go to school. All right. They said the same thing about me. School. But they said he was the treasurer of Moby. You know Moby? Moby International in America. Will an oil company employ someone as a chief accountant or treasurer if that person didn't go to school? How was he able to work there? And you saw what happened in Lagos. Many of you have been to Lagos. Lagos. You have seen how it transformed Lagos. And for you young people, your younger people in Lagos, when Asiwaju sees a young man, he brings him in, he mentors the person, and they grow. That is why today he has produced governors, ministers, all manners of people, senators, house of rep. So those are the kind of people who will build your people up. That is why I say this should be. I want to be a senator for the following reason, and I want you to listen attentively. A graduate machine for two widows. The Senate for 10 youths out of 10,000 youths. Senate is not about going to do Kaken affairs, to be Kakerin and Apepi. No. I don't need to be a senator to support a widow. I don't need to be a senator to buy a woman a graduate machine. I have done that before, and I still do so. Today, I have paid school fees for many people who cannot go to school. I don't need to be a senator to do that. So what can I not do without being a senator? I have trouble, but the way we manage our budget in the National Assembly, I want to go there and argue on the floor of the National Assembly. We should change our budgetary system. Now, if I fought on the street, I will fight even harder on the floor of the Senate. For example, can any of you remember how long it has taken the federal government to construct Abuja dualization to be mean. I believe. And now Buhari is there. And the road is not finished. You know why? 
the minister of works, not only the current one. From uh, Kogi State, the most important constituency project to complete the Bini Dua Carriage Way to Aoji, to Lokoja, and to Abuja. Today, people are going through Ondo to come to Edo. Are we going to continue like that? No. So I want to use the floor of the Senate to assure that. You don't start new roads when you have not finished the old ones. And the National Assembly, working with the President, will ensure that projects are completed. Today, many of you can't go to Benin. Do you want us to do that? But I can't go and buy you if I get 100 million, 500 million for the project. Grady machine. That is not lawmaking. We want to change the way Nigeria works. Nigeria has to work for the people, and the impact of budget must be reduced. So I want to thank you for coming. I know you know what we did. Sir. The president. We want to show. Comrade Adam Sushomoli and his followers call Kari Wakago out to Polytechnic Field to show Senate and still in charge of a donut. Second, say Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi can't do campaign for Auchi. <laughs> APC Chamo for Edo State Corner, David Musi, can hand over the party flag to Comrade Adams of Shomoli and other candidates for the party. With the power conferred on me, I want to specially hand him over the flag of APC. Abuja and do what Mohammed could not do. We will go there and do what nobody has done before. Go and do what people like Harry Minkina could not do. He will go there no more sewing machine, no more cacao and pep. They want to have people meet the right uh, cacao for road where there are people with the right motor. That was good. They will go there, make the build houses up and down, and the people they try for some vouchy. That was good. I'm going to say today, we they give this flat to our guy, our comrade, the comrade governor. The people in the top of the special grace of God. 
Pablet, Adam, Ali, Osamole. Comrade, a Patterson. Some people call them Deputy Majority the House of Representatives. He's our candidate. We are sending him there to come and build on what he has done before. And we have no fear in our mind that he's going to perform better than he did in the last two terms. A Patterson. Our candidate for Akopado Federal Constituency. To become professor, not be more more. This is a professor, what professor? PG. Now, even this. On behalf of all of you, we are giving him this flag to go to Abuja as a political scientist, to go do political dissection to the problems of Edo and Aframa people generally. Professor APC. Oh wow yeah! Oh wow yeah! Oh my look at your TMC TV news. Don't forget to your PVC and your power. Not say I'm giving any politician on election day.